So as expected, Apple has released another software updates to the general public without any beta testing. And of course, in this video, we're going to take a look at the anticipated iOS 15.1.1. There is a catch, but of course, if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now if you watch me here on the channel you know that we were expecting ios 15.1.1 to drop before apple releasing ios 15.2 to the general public and now this sort of pushes everything back for ios 15.2 in my opinion as i mentioned before i think that software is most likely going to be released mid to late january next year this one here has just been released ios 15.1.1 and if you're running a beta of course you need to remove the beta profile and restore your device to iOS 15.1 in order to take advantage of this patch. Now, this software update is only available for the iPhone 12 models and iPhone 13 models. So iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max, 13 Mini, of course, iPhone 12 Mini, 12, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. And this fixes only one particular issue, and I've been talking about this in my previous coverage. Again, if you watch me here on the channel, you know that I've mentioned that the network performance just isn't as good. So this software update, as Apple implies here with their release notes, improved the call drop performance, okay? So if you're having call drops, this software update should improve and you should not have as many call drops when the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 models. Now, iPhone 13, in my personal experience, 5G has been spotty and I'm hoping that this software update also improves the 5G speeds and also the stability of the performance of the network because as I mentioned on previous videos where I used to have solid 5G connection on the latest 15.1, that wasn't the case. So hopefully 15.1.1, which is directly impacting this particular function of the software, uh, should improve the 5G connection. And there's also a new modem number for the iPhone 13 and iPhone 12 models with this new network network improvements so that you don't have as many call drops. Now, let me know in the comments down below. This was a very quick video just letting you guys know iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 models new 15.1.1 call improvement. Are you seeing improvements? Let me know if you've updated. If you've seen any improvements in the comments down below, let me know. Thank you for watching this super quick update video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.